Hello again from the Bureau with an update on severe tropical cyclone Veronica, which continues to barrel towards Western Australia's Pilbara coast. Veronica maintained its strength as a severe Category 4 system overnight on Friday. But as you can see from its sheer size, it's already affecting communities between Wallow Downs and Mardi, and a warning is in place as conditions deteriorate through Saturday. A severe and dangerous coastal impact is expected to bring very destructive winds along the coast, together with very hazardous storm surge and widespread heavy rainfall conducive to major flooding. The current track map shows Veronica nearing the coast on Saturday, still as a Category 4 system, however it is likely to slow down as it approaches. This means that winds and heavy rainfall will be sustained for a prolonged period, particularly on the eastern flank. Communities within the warning area should make final preparations ahead of destructive wind gusts in excess of 125 km an hour on Saturday afternoon and evening, and very destructive wind gusts of up to 225 km an hour closer to the cyclone centre. Landfall is most likely on Sunday morning between Port Hedland and Caratha. However, some computer model guidance does suggest that the centre of the cyclone will actually stall near the coast before moving west. Regardless of whether the eye of tropical cyclone Veronica itself does cross the coast, or if the system weakens slightly, major impacts are still anticipated, with storm surge a particular concern. The system's slow movement will allow water to pile up and move well inland, causing significant coastal inundation, which will be exacerbated by normally high tides this weekend. A flood watch has been issued for the Pilbara district, where four-day rainfall totals could range between 100 millimetres in excess of 500 millimetres closer towards the system's track. Some areas may see more than the annual rainfall in a matter of days, and major flooding may lead to significant disruptions. From Monday, the system will weaken. However, there is some uncertainty as to whether Veronica moves further inland or towards the west, and the grey area reflects this uncertainty. Importantly, despite easing conditions, major impacts could be ongoing. So, if you're in the Pilbara District this weekend, please remember to stay safe and to follow all advice from your local emergency services. Forecasts and warnings will be updated regularly and can keep up to date with these with the Bureau website, app or social media channels. <laughs>